Okay, guys, we're going to be solving two more questions from the fourth chapter of the engineering mechanics textbook. And in the first one, we need to determine the magnitude of the force which member CD exerts on the pin at point C. So we covered the concept of two force member in the previous video. So when we have a member that there's only two forces, one at one end and another one on the other end, we're going to have a two force member. And the main takeaway from a two force member is that the force will be along the line that connects, uh, let's say in here in the member CD, the line that connects C and D. So we're going to start with the free body diagram as always. I'm going to draw the free body diagram for this part of this system or the member BC. So we're going to have something like this at point B. We're going to have a two force member. Let's just consider that we have a force like this we can call it FAB. We're going to have a moment at the uh, middle of this bar which is 100 newton meter and we're gonna have the same scenario at point c this time it will be the member cd and since we have a roller at point c it will be a normal force from the wall to that joint so we can call that one maybe mc the normal force that is applying to the joint and yeah that's that's pretty much all the forces that we have we also know that this angle here is 30 degrees we have that angle on the question so this one will be 30 degrees as well we're gonna have the same thing in here and that's pretty much all the forces that we have and the question is asking for fcd in here so we are in equilibrium we can use our equilibrium equations but since we are interested in fcd in here if we just start with finding the moment about point b in here counterclockwise positive as always will be our assumption and we can see that nc won't make any moment because it passes through that point and we're going to have the moment of the if you just call our x and y in this direction and if we resolve fcd into two components this will be the x component and this will be the y component same scenario the x component is going to pass through point b so no moment from that one so we only have the moment of the y component, which is FCD, cosine of 30, and the moment would be in this direction. So counterclockwise positive, so plus FCD, cosine of 30 degrees, and the distance would be the distance from B to C, which is 0.3 plus 0.3, which is 0.6. So that's that. We also have the clockwise moment that is applying at the center of this beam. So FCD here will be 100 divided by 0.6 cosine of 30 degrees. Let's see what we get. So this is going to give us 192.45 newton meter. Uh, sorry, newton. So we have a force. This will be 192.45 newton. And we did not get any negative sign that shows that the angle is correct. So we can just write down the final answer as 192.45 newtons. And the angle would be, if we want to show this angle, this will be 60 degrees. So that would be the final answer for the first question. Let's move on to the second one. So in this one, we need to determine the magnitude of the force supported by each pin of the loaded structure. So we're going to have two, oh, actually three different pins at point A, D, and B. So we're going to start with the free body diagram of this part of this frame. And again, we're going to deal with another two force member. So the member AB, we can call it FAB. And at point D, we also have a pin. We can consider two component one for x one for y dx dy and if we just do the sum of all moments about point d we can get rid of all the unknowns at d and we can find fab pretty easy and for fab we're gonna have two components so again we can either consider our position vector from d to a or d to b it looks a little bit easier if we just resolve force FAB at point A, so we'll get two different components, one X, one Y. 
we just go with the same x and y as previous question and we can see the y component is going to pass through d so no moment from that one we're going to have the moment of x component and that one is in this direction so the moment is clockwise so we're going to have a negative sign minus fab the force will be cosine of 30 degrees and the distance is basically what we have for r and we're going to have another moment at point c which we can see in red that one's counterclockwise so plus m equals zero so our fab would be m over r cosine of 30 degrees so that's going to be our fab so obviously since as i mentioned we have a two force member so we're going to have the same force at at pin a2 if we just draw the free by diagram for that member which is this member fab this time is going to be in the opposite direction of the previous one because that's the force from the joint b to the member ab and in order to cancel that one now we're going to have the reaction at point a in this direction which is going to be our ax and ay so same value and that would be the direction for a a is going to be also same as fab which is m over r cosine of 30 degrees so that's the second this will be the direction and fab and we don't need to show the reactions because the question is asking only for the magnitude of the force supported by each pin and the last one is the d and if you get back to this free by diagram if you want to do the sum of all forces in x and y we can see that the fab cosine of 30 would be dx and fab sine of 30 is going to be dy so basically the reaction at d is also same as fab and all in all, in all the three pins, we, we're going to have the same force or same magnitude force for all of them. And that's going to be the final answer for this question. hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions and you guys take care. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.